And now, for the next 30 minutes, as the world turns. Brought to you today by Best Foods, makers of delicious new Mazzola margarine. This is the family I love and care for. And when I learned of the desirability of replacing foods high in saturated fat, Mazzola liquid corn oil became part of our everyday meals. Now I buy new Mazzola margarine, too. Because of all leading brands, it's best to replace spreads high in saturated fat. Let me tell you why. I used to buy a corn oil margarine, which I thought gave me the same benefits of Mazzola. But at a recent food demonstration, I learned that the ordinary corn oil margarine I had put such faith in is hydrogenated. So most of its natural liquid corn oil nutrition is lost. But the corn oil in Mazzola margarine is never hydrogenated. So you get the full nutritional benefit of Mazzola's liquid corn oil. Of all leading brands, new Mazzola margarine, rich in polyunsaturates, is best to replace spreads high in saturated fat. For the family you love, serve delicious new Mazzola margarine. They'll love its light, delicate flavor every day. point is it did happen we're we're faced with something and we've we've got to handle it the best way we can she says she has proof there's no doubt in ellen's mind she's convinced that danny is her son oh i just can't believe it i can't i just can't it's just some crazy coincidence that's all danny is our son honey we're alone now we have to be realistic we did adopt Danny. David, don't use that word. Don't ever use that word again. We're never going to admit that we adopted Danny. Honey, never. Whether we admit it or not, Ellen took Danny's footprint. She compared it with the footprint of her son. I'm not sure, but I think that's considered positive identification. David, he's our son. We've raised him since he was an infant. I'm the only mother he knows, David. I'm the only mother he has. I don't care what Ellen says, what claim she thinks she has on him. He is our son, David. He's our baby. He's ours. Of course he is, but you heard Ellen. Ellen is a very determined young woman. I think we have to consider what she could do, what she's apt to do. I don't care what she does, David. I don't there, care. Yeah, we have to do this. We have to try to anticipate what Ellen's next move will be. She said she was going to come back. After we'd had a chance to think about it, she was sure we'd understand. I know, I know. David, I don't ever want to see her again. I don't ever want to set, set foot in this apartment again. Never! You have to recognize that Ellen was in a highly emotional state tonight. A few hours before she came here, she proved to herself that she'd found her son. Well, we have to recognize that. We don't know he's her son just because she says so. Betty, face facts. She, I... she, she told us that, that she placed her baby with the children's aid in Columbus. She told us when. A few weeks after that, we got Danny. We have a birth certificate. We have a birth certificate. A birth certificate that's given to every adoptive parent. It indicates that you're his mother and that I'm Danny's that's father. Right. But according to Ellen tonight, she says that she can positively prove that she gave birth to Danny. No, she didn't. Honey, it's something that I think we have to accept. We can't just say, at least to ourselves, we can't just say, no, no, it's impossible, when we know it's true. David, you know she's going to come back here and she's going to want Danny. Honey, there's always the possibility that in a few days, Ellen might come to her senses, be less emotional, oh. think less of herself and more of her own son. No, you don't believe that any more than I do. She wants him, and she's going to come and get him. I'm not going to let her have him, David. I'm not. She can't get him. No, of course she can't. Of course not. It's ironic, isn't it? The whole reason that we made the move from New York. The whole reason that I gave up my practice, everything I had, was so that no one would find out that Danny was adopted. It was almost an obsession with you. We wanted so much for Danny or anyone else not to find out that he was adopted. Everyone to believe that he was our son. It's the whole reason that I accepted the memorial offer. David, what are we going to do? What can happen? 
What, what can she do? I don't know, but there's one thing that we must not lose sight of. Danny is adopted by us legally. Ellen surrendered him four and a half years ago. He's ours now, and no one can take him away but from But she as much as said she can, David. She wants him. Well, she's not going to get him. How can you be so sure? We were sure before, you know. We were sure that by moving here, Honey, everything... You've got to get a hold of yourself. Now, let me give you a sedative, something to help you sleep. I expect me to sleep when I know that that girl is trying to take my boy away from me. She's not going to take him, David. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get the boys up and I'm going to take them away. Betty! I, I don't know where I'll go, but I... Betty, no. David, no. You can't listen. do that. No, I'm going to take Danny as far away as Betty. I can. I'll tell you where I am and then you can join us later, David. That is not the answer. Believe me. Oh, David, me. please. I've got Let's to leave. Stop I'm, and I'm, think a minute. No, Honey. David, we can't just stay until Ellen comes. Don't you realize that Ellen will go on, on trying to find you? We've got to say and face this David, thing David, no. I've got to leave. Betty, please, Betty, don't darling, tell listen, me. Listen please, to me. Don't just, don't please, listen to me. You can't leave. You can't do that. That is not the answer. We may be facing something that, that will be very difficult, but we, we cannot run away. That's not the answer. No, but I... listen, listen to me. Listen to me. We have to stay here. We've got to make Ellen understand. What? If we can't, someone else has to. She has no claim on her child. None. There's nothing to worry about as far as that's concerned. Danny is ours. He is ours, and nobody can take him away from us. children are growing. That's why our family margarine is Nuco, with more than twice the vitamin A of many leading margarines. New, new, Nuco, the margarine, margarine, vitamin A. your minimum daily requirements of vitamin A in 1.8 ounces. Essential for healthy growth. Essential for sound teeth. And just wait till your family tastes Nuco's new flavor secret. The marvelous way Nuco melts for fresh, delicate flavor. Delicious aroma. Nuco gives you all your vitamin A in one, two, three packs a day. Nuco. Doug, what is Ellen thinking? Well, you heard what Joe Meadows said, dear. And you've lived with Ellen ever since she gave her baby out for adoption. Although there were times when we thought she was coming out of this, it's obvious now that a day didn't go by when she wasn't thinking of her son, when she wasn't planning the day she'd find him. I can't believe she's found him. It's a, it, it's a fantastic coincidence. No, I'm afraid not, dear. According to Joe Meadows, Danny Stewart is Ellen's son. A footprint. Well, I'd have to have more than Ellen looking at a footprint, Joe Meadows looking at a footprint, comparing them one to the other. Darling, there was no doubt in Joe's mind. But aren't you forgetting one thing, Doug? As far as we know, Betty Stewart gave birth to David. They've never once men mentioned anything about it having been adopted. Yes, yes, I know that. I'm sorry, Doug, but I don't believe it. I can't. Where is she? Joe said she caught an early flight back here. Now, where could she have gone? Why isn't she at home? I think she's with Penny. That, that's the only answer to it, Doug. I wonder if I should call the Hughes again. Yeah, you've called them twice. The last time, not more than 15 minutes ago. Now, Chris told you, didn't he, that he would have Penny call the moment she came in, no matter how late it was? Well, yes. Well, then there's no point in your calling him again. I suppose you're right. Midnight. It's just possible, you know, that she's waiting until she can be sure we're both in bed so that she won't have to explain tonight. You think she knows that Joe Meadows would have been in touch with us? Of course she does, dear. Oh, where will this lead, Doug? 
I mean, if, if Danny Stewart is Ellen's boy. Yes, I've wondered that, too. But the answer, I suppose, is pretty much in Ellen's hands. What do you mean? Surely she can't have any real hope of getting her son back. Well, you heard what Joe said. Yes, I know. He said that she intended to get him back. But how can she, dear? If the Stewarts have her son, they've adopted him. It's a perfectly legal adoption. Ellen signed surrender papers. But will Ellen stop there? What else can she do, dear? Oh, she could go to see the Stewarts, I suppose. But what good would it do her? The Stewarts won't give up a son they love, a son they raised for five years. Oh, uh, do you realize the problems this can present? I mean, where Ellen's concerned. Knowing where her son is. Yes, yes, of course I do. Why did she lie to us? Why did she tell us she was going to see the coals when she knew she was going to Columbus? Dear, that should be obvious. If she had said where she was going, we would have done everything in our power to try to stop her. But there would have been no stopping her, Claire. If Danny is Ellen's son, I'm very sorry for her. What she's been through in the past will be nothing compared to what she's going to have to go through. Well, Doug, we're going to have to do we're something. We're going to have to talk with her, of course, dear. We, we've got to try to make her understand. She's got to be made to realize that to all intents and purposes, she has no son. Oh, no, Doug, be realistic. Claire, she gave her son away. Now, that's final, dear. Well, yes, but she's still the boy's mother. No, my dear, she isn't. Whoever adopted the child, they're his parents. They're his legal parents. Oh, Yes, I know that. But if what we heard tonight is true, I can understand Ellen's feelings. I think any woman could. You tell her that, Claire, and you're making a, a mistake. A serious mistake. Yes, I know. Do you suppose she won't come home tonight? Where would she stay? I doubt that very much, dear. She's already seen the Stewarts? That she got back and went directly to their place to tell them? No, I don't think so, dear. Don't you think we'd have heard something by now if she had? Don't you think we'd have heard from David? Mm -hmm. yeah. I suppose you're right. Oh, Doug. I feel so terribly sorry for them. Maybe after we've talked to Ellen. Make up your mind to one thing. You're never going to stop her from talking to them. Telling them what she knows. Doug, maybe the thing to do is to call David. At this hour? Yes, at this hour. Make arrangements to see him first thing in the morning. I think you should talk to him before Ellen does. Yes, all right. Maybe you're right. This one looks better to you. Does that mean that you prefer this kind of whiteness? Yes. Would you like to uh, know what was used to wash it? I'd love to know. Look here. Fair? Here at the Danbury, Connecticut Fair, Mrs. Lottie Brady just compared new laundry used and washed for the cheer test. Now watch. Here comes Ann Sheldon, Ann posing as a bystander. asked Mrs. Brady her reaction to the test. I've seen it on television, but I never thought I'd be able to... And you really can tell the difference. You, by golly, it really works, doesn't <laughs> it? It's a handsome fellow, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very. <laughs> tell me, have you ever used here? I mean, no, I home? haven't. You got I've, switched her? I, I, well, definitely now. I mean, my clothes are icky, you know? Uh -huh. And this is nice and, nice and clean. Ladies, most women, like Mrs. Brady, see that cheer with his blue magic whitener gives you a deeper kind of white. Try it, Cheer, and see the difference. The first portion of this program has been brought to you today by Best Foods, makers of new Nuco with all your vitamin A in three packs a day. We'll continue with As the World Turns following station identification.
And now the second portion of As the World Turns, brought to you today by Carnation Instant Nonfat Dry Milk and Carnation Instant Chocolate Drink. here and wait. What are we going to do? Me, at this point, I think it's a matter of what Ellen does. I just don't see where we can do anything. Assuming that Ellen is Danny's mother. I can't assume that, David. I won't. I think we have to. Too many things add up. Then you're convinced. I think we have to accept that as a fact. Ellen knows all there is to know. Where we got him, when we got him, and then there's this matter of the footprints. A game. That's what she said she was playing with him when he was in the hospital. And then she took his fingerprints, his footprints. I know, I know. Hey, but do you know what she wants? She wants our boy. Honey, we've just got to remember that Danny is legally, legally adopted. Ellen gave up all rights to him. I know, but do you know what this means? Danny is going to find out he's adopted. So he finds out. There's nothing wrong with that. Most adoptive parents tell their children. Oh, but I don't want him to find out he has another mother. I'm his mother, that's David. That's right, that's right. You are his mother. When Ellen gave up her child, she gave up all legal rights to be his mother. What do you mean, legal? Honey, I have to put it that way, if I'm to be honest. But, David, I'm the only mother he knows. Doesn't she know that? Isn't she even thinking of Danny? She's just thinking of herself. Oh, David, please, let me get the boys and go away. Oh, please. please. Honey, would you really want to go away from here with this thing unsettled? Would you want to go off somewhere knowing that you're going to live in constant fear that every time you're going to open the door, it might be Ellen there? When you go to the store, Ellen might be there looking for you? And that's going to happen, you know, no matter where we move to, no matter how much we try to keep the move a secret. You'd live in constant fear. But, David, somebody's got to stop her. We've got to stop her. If she's going to cause trouble for my boy, she's got to be stopped. David, if that's Ellen, don't talk to her. Don't say a word to her. Hello? Uh, David, I'm sorry to have to disturb you at this hour. I hope I didn't get you out of bed. No, you didn't, Doug. Uh, well, David, uh, something's come up. I'd like to see you first thing in the morning before you go to the hospital. Doug, if it's about Ellen, she was here tonight. Oh, I, I see. I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks, Doug. Well, in, in view of that, I don't think we should wait until morning. If it's all right with you and Betty, I'd like to come over right away. All right, Doug, I, I think you're right. I think we've got a great deal to talk over. David? We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. The best way to judge the flavor of non-fat milk is to drink it. And one taste tells you that Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk is the one that's delicious for drinking. Now, here's the secret of this delicious fresh flavor. It's Carnation's amazing magic crystals. See for yourself that Carnation is truly instant mixing. Take a glass of water, Pour in Carnation's magic crystals. Now watch what actually happens. The instant they touch water, Carnation's magic crystals start to dissolve into fresh-flavored, non-fat milk. And here's proof that Carnation's magic crystals dissolve completely. The whole family will enjoy Carnation Instant Non-Fat Milk, the magic crystals instant that's delicious for drinking. And you'll also like Carnation Instant Chocolate Drink, it's the same magic crystals of non-fat milk with rich chocolate flavor. Come in, Doug. Betty? You have your coat, Doug. Yes, yes, thank you. David, what can I say? Sit down, Doug. Thank you. Doug, naturally, Betty and I are rather curious as to what Ellen said to you tonight. I haven't seen her, David. She hasn't been home. Then how did you know? Well, Dr. Meadows flew in from Columbus. He told us what had happened. I don't know whether you know him or not. Ellen told us about it. Doug, what kind of doctor is he? What kind of person would do what he did? Help Ellen. Just find Betty. out. Please. 
to try to understand. Try to understand what? If it hadn't been for that doctor, Ellen wouldn't have gotten any hospital records. She wouldn't have checked any footprints. I agree with Betty. I think it's inexcusable, Doctor. David, you have to try to understand his position. Now, Ellen came to him with what seemed to be a fantastic story. By getting the hospital records, he hoped to prove to her once and for all how ridiculous she was to ever have had such a crazy idea. He was only trying to make her realize that she had to forget her son, that her son was... her son was a part of her past. No, under the circumstances, David, it's something I know I would have done, and I'm quite sure you would have, too. Well, maybe I would, maybe I would. In any event, it's... what's done is done. I don't know how much Ellen told you. Well, she told us everything, I guess, all about her relationship with Dr. Cole, that her baby was born out of wedlock. She told us everything there was to know. I see. She told us about the footprints, and that about her making what she considers positive identification. She's certain that Danny's her son, and she wants him. And she's not going to get him. I'll die, Doug, before I'll give that boy up. He is not her son. He's mine, and she's not going to get him. Honey, why don't you think about getting some sleep? I'm not going to bed. I can't sleep. I'm afraid to sleep. There's, uh, there's one thing I have to know. As a matter of fact, it's the one inconsistency I find in this whole story. What's that? Well, now, we've all assumed right along that you were Danny's parents. What I mean to say is that you were, you were his natural, natural parents. David, I have to know, did you adopt him? No, we didn't. He's our son. I gave birth to him. Betty, I think Doug can be a great help to us. I hope he can, but if he can, he's got to know the truth. No, Betty. David, no. No, no, no. <laughs> We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk announces a new weight reduction plan. A meal replacement diet that provides delicious flavor, 1,000 calories, and balanced nutrition for only 44 cents a day. All you need is a cup and a half of Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk, 10 cents, a quart of fresh whole milk, 25 cents, one standard multivitamin mineral capsule, nine cents. To mix, just add the Carnation Magic Crystals to fresh whole milk. Take one multivitamin mineral capsule each day. Replace every meal or just one or two meals with a glass of delicious Carnation formula. The meal replacement formula with fresh milk flavor. As in all diets, check your doctor. You'll find full directions for Carnation's new weight reduction plan on your next package of Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk. Betty, David is right. I have to know the truth if I'm going to be of any real help to you. Now, if Ellen has any basis for feeling as she does that you've adopted her son, well, I, I have to know. The point is, dear, that the, sooner or later the, the fact will come out. We have to cooperate with Doug. Yes, Doug, we have every reason to believe that Danny is the baby that Ellen gave birth to. Joe Meadows was positive. I just couldn't believe it. Well, did you admit this to her? Well, we didn't have to. She was so sure of her ground. She, and Ellen undoubtedly has all she needs. Well, how, how, how did you leave things with her? Well, she said she'd give us some time to think it over. She realized it was such a great shock, but that she's coming back because she wants her son. No, she can't have him. Surely you must both know that. Well, we know. We know that he's legally adopted and we love him. That We're not going to give him up, but all these things we told Ellen, but she still seems to feel that we will give him up. David, you have to understand that the girl is in an emotional turmoil. Doug, what do you think she's done to us? I know, I know, Betty. Believe me, and... I can't tell you how sorry I am that this has happened. I'm sorry for both of you. And I'm sorry for Ellen, too. 
David, undoubtedly you've discussed what you're going to do. I see it, Doug. There's, there's nothing that we can or should do. We have the adoption papers. That's all we need. Yes, yes, of course. So the question becomes, what is Ellen going to do? Well, as I see it, there isn't anything she can do. Oh, Doug, don't say that. She can make so much trouble. She can't get my son, but do you realize the trouble she can make? Betty, I sincerely hope that Ellen has too much sense to try to carry this any further. Well, naturally, we hope that too, Doug, but you didn't see her tonight. You didn't hear her. I, I'm no psychiatrist. I, I know very little about psychiatry, but the girl that was here tonight was obsessed with the idea of getting her son back, and there's nothing going to stop her from it. Well, in the past, David, I've been able to reason with Ellen. Let me talk to her. Maybe I can make her understand now. Suppose you can't. Well, right now I'd rather go on the assumption that I can. I think that once the hopelessness of the situation is pointed out to her, she'll see things differently. I think she'll realize that the present arrangement is best for her son. And that, after all, should be her principal consideration. Well, if there's anything to be gained by... My talking to her again. Uh, thank you, thank you. We'll see. In any event, I'll be in touch with you in the morning. I appreciate your coming over tonight, Doug. Good night, Betty. Good night, Doug. Yes, Danny? Mother's coming. Your mother's coming. As the world turns, has been brought to you today by Carnation, the milk from contented cows. Carnation Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk and Carnation Instant Chocolate Drink. Fashions from Mr. Moore. Join us again Monday for another half hour of drama on As the World Turns.